Fantastic, thanks for having me. Um, I'm an accident. No, really, really I am. Um, what I do is all via what I find interesting. I've got such a short attention span to untruth, so hopefully I can make it through seven minutes. Right, let's have a look at this. So, how to engage learners? Ready for a bad joke? Yeah, food related as well. Happy days. Okay, um, quick mental checklist. This stuff we all do, I just wrote it down to make sure the stuff I was coming up with had some decent grounding. Um, progress is a big thing. Um, we teach sort of food nutrition and we go very much to run it very rigorously and push them. So we've got hats, we've got our head chefs, our sous chefs and our commie chefs to remove the level element. Um, this can make you competitive for boys. We can have instant promotions during the lessons, which is always quite good. We can have appraisals when things are up against it. You can get your head chefs helping out your sous and your commies. And they love it. And they love the hats. Even the girls with the top knots. <laughs> okay, at GCSE, this is something we've now digitised with my new posh room. Um, and it was the great GCSE race. Um, and it's self-expansion. They move along as they go and they can see how they're getting on, depending on what track they are, depends on whether they're A's, or A's stars, they're B's, and the lads hate it. When they're lacking behind, and that lovely quiet lad who have got a bit of a hard time, doing a bit of a dig at football, is surpassing them, they don't like it, and they move themselves a little bit. Okay, we do get creative. Single cell reviewers there, bacteria is boring. Sorry biologists in here, but it is. Um, and when we do it in food, we like to create a dating profile. And we have a bit of speed dating going on, and they share the information, they have a chat, a bit of a flirt. Where do you like hanging out? Rotten meat, lovely, fantastic. How will you feel after the date? Diarrhea with blood, happy days, lovely. Yeah, language students know how to flirt. Um, but in all seriousness, when we follow this up with assessment, you do find on there, there is some really amusing things, and it embeds it. Uh, we do use online uh, GCSE, submitting coursework, that kind of thing. And as you can see, it looks like Facebook. And the great thing is, when it comes to recruiting them uh, to get them onto the GCSE course, you can say, look, it looks like Facebook. They go, ooh. They get more flirting. Uh, but it's great. They can submit their work on there. You can get a dialogue going. And this is how sad my life is. I can walk around Tesco's and I get a little message going, sir, can I have some sashimi? Yeah, it's that sad my life at the moment. Um, but it's a great means of dialogue, it's a great means of feedback, I know some other departments are starting to work with it. Um, the other thing is they can direct their own learning. We get to choose tasks, as if we vote for it, they can now direct where they want to go, they can content. Also on this, when they submit the assignment, they can tell you how you did. They can say, you didn't cover it enough in class, I needed more time. Um, or, can we go over that again? And um, we also use this, I don't know whether anyone else has used this, this is Zondor. Um, Zondor is absolutely wonderful, you can create games, you can drown bunnies, you can, yeah you can, um, you can fly through Han Solo style, you can select your questions, but this doesn't mean they spend an entire lesson shooting stuff. Um, it limits the amount of time that you can spend shooting stuff and it really produces a nice diagnostic at the end. You can collate it, look back and address those areas where you feel they've really got to focus on. Um, we have a few mottos in here. Uh, the first one is, close enough is not good enough. Very simply, it ain't, especially when you're cooking food. The second one is, take it on, don't pass it on. As you can see, we really push the students and they love that challenge, they love that stretch. They love the fact that Year 7 are not allowed to use mince meat. They're not. They come in and they use the meat mincers. There are only 30 quid on Amazon. And they're fantastic. Same with the pasta machines and the butchery. That's a Year 9 student butchering that chicken. We'll use bits of it in different weeks. It's planning ahead and it's really rooting decent skills, getting the mechanics of the learning and understanding processes. Also, if they've got to bring it in and they've got to work, taking the chicken apart, especially the girls, I hate to say it, a bit squeamish. They really appreciate it and there's no wastage at all. Um, this is a great tool. This is, um, I'm sure lots of you on Twitter have seen the whole pound and pedagogy thing. This is a running armband and a uh, headlamp. And I stuck them together this way. Um, I can observe myself. I can see their skills. Um, and we can look back at it and refresh it at the end. Also, we often have our chef's table and they'll come to the front and they'll do it there and we can plug it in and other people can follow them again, demonstrating that good model. Um, I did have a title here, I wasn't sure it was a pro, but pimp the experience. Really, make it real. 
We were very lucky to work with Raymond Blanc and several of his chefs to produce this event. Um, we catered for 60 paying guests, five courses, using only 10 year nine students. Um, they were coached over five weeks and they worked from 7.30 in the morning until 9 o'clock at night with only a couple of tears. So I was quite happy and they were just mine. Um, <laughs> the standard of food is exemplary. We now have a wonderful set of chefs like signed by um, RB and we're still in contact with them. Those students now keep popping in and talking about the experience and it's got the buzz going as well. Really important, that buzz, that energy. My lessons, they're there 10 minutes before, it really does my head in because I never have time for that last espresso. Um, I think it was uh, David who was talking about looking at the way you're playing your lessons and the way I do it is, like I say, I get bored. So I fancied the masquerade ball the other week, so we had one. Um, the students, first of all, from, one from Mr. Athlete, learned how to waltz. Really great. So we learned how to waltz for 10 minutes, got them up, got the leg, uh, blood going around the heads, and they were on it. Um, at that point, they had to get the information about the various different vitamins on their face masks. They didn't have to throw fruit and veg at me when I called out vitamin A, vitamin E. It's a good job I can catch, just about. Um, and we juiced them, so then they had their cocktails. At that point, that interchange of information without speaking really caused focus. They looked at each other, and it was a bit weird at times, them doing this. But it worked, and they still remember it, stuff now, uh, remember it now. Um, we have, again, more power and pedagogy. I found a cowboy hat. So, of course, you have your recent suit with trouble shoes and hygiene sharing. This young lad, honestly, he can't sit still for five and a half seconds. So, what do you do? You give him a hat, you give him some guns, and you tell him to go and make sure people wash up. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, you. That's how I get to this day. And if you ask any of the great Langley staff who are sat around me, they'll tell you I'm slightly addicted uh, to caffeine. And I'm starting to twitch already. But, it is, it's that love, that passion, and it's great. And these are just a few things I do.